This is part three of three videos talking about concentrations typically found in a molecular biology lab and this video refers to molarity. Okay, the last way we can communicate about concentrations uh, of one of many are, is the most common we typically find in a molecular biology type of lab and that is the concentration referred to as molarity. So molarity by definition is the number of moles of a solute to a final volume of one liter. So the volume is going to be one liter. So it's number of moles of solute per liter. That will determine the molarity or that type of concentration of that solution. So of course by that we need to understand how many moles of a solute you have. So the question is what is a mole? A mole quite simply is when you have a mole of something you will have 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particles of it. So basically what that means is if you have one mole of sodium chloride, you have 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of sodium chloride. If I have one mole of sodium, that will equal 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of sodium. So the problem here is the mole is not a direct measure like a gram is in terms of mass. It's going to vary based on the compound you are working with. So to determine the mole we figure out the formula weight or molecular weight of the compound. This is the sum of the atomic masses of its constituents. Or its atoms. All right. So to figure out the molarity you need to know its formula weight or its molecular weight. That molecular weight in grams is equal to one mole. Right. So if we use our example here, sodium, the molecular weight of sodium is 23. The molecular weight of chlorine is 35. So the atomic mass or the molecular weight of sodium chloride is 58. So 58 atomic mass units. If we then convert this to grams, then 58 grams equals 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of sodium chloride. All right. So what it also means in terms of sodium, if I have 23 grams of pure sodium, I will have 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of sodium. 